We are live. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmis this Sunday, August 30th, 2009. We're going to be hitting up a ton of mainstream news. I can't even tell you how many articles I printed up. Probably about 50. It's going to be broad in its range. Everything from internet addicts uh, get first U.S. treatment clinic. That's right. You can get addicted to the internet. And now they need clinics. Why are they doing that? Well, we're going to get into that later. My top story right now is WHO warns of severe form of H1N1 virus. See, now there's another form of the H1N1 out there. It's not just the piggy flu you've heard about for the past four months. And remember, that is a three, uh, three type of viruses. It is H1N1, H5N1, and human flu virus. Even the mainline articles actually admit that, but now they're hyping it up even further. See, they got to put the hype machine into play because late September, early October, that is the first round for shots. Doctors are reporting a severe form of H1N1 that goes straight to the lungs, causing severe illness in otherwise healthy young people and requiring expensive hospital treatment, the WHO said on Friday. See, here's the fear mongering. Now, if you get it, you might, it's going to cost you some money. Yeah, you might survive it. But boy, it's not going to be just sniffles anymore. It's going to go right into your lugs. It could really hurt you. We need you to take the vaccination. But they don't want to talk about mutations and how, you know, this H1N1 might not be the other H1N1. They just want to stick you with a needle, folks. Some countries are reporting that as many as 15% of patients hospitalized with the new H1N1 pandemic virus need intensive care, further straining already overburdened healthcare systems, WHO said in an update on the pandemic. And remember, we're at WHO level six, but for some reason in other countries, they're amping it up even further as if there's a level above six. Folks, there is no level above six. But in Spain, for instance, they're saying level 6.2. And now, you know, the word has gotten out that this pig flu almost means nothing. That more people die of the regular flu. People aren't buying the propaganda despite their false polls that say two-thirds of the United States is going to take this thing. That was out of Reuters. We reported that on the Alex Jones Show on Friday. During the winter season in the Southern Hemisphere, several countries have viewed the need for intensive care and the greatest burden on health services. Uh, preparedness measures need to anticipate this increased demand of an intensive care, uh, which could be overwhelmed by a sudden surge of the severe cases of H1N1. Ooh, so spooky. And that's out of Fox News. And of course, Fox News follows it up with, where will you get your H1N1 vaccine? Information remains unclear. No, it doesn't. It remains perfectly clear. You've been saying, we're going to take schools and make them into makeshift vaccination centers. And the kids can get it first. Then we're going to go after the pregnant women and all the parents can line up. And then for that 18 to 30 year old crowd that may not want to go to uh, the college health center or, you know, wherever they have this makeshift vaccine uh, destination. Well, we'll just set up shop outside of bars. That's mainline media. We'll set up shop outside of bars. We'll get the young people, the 18 to 30 year old crowd when they're coming out drunk as if as if any type of vaccination should be taken while your blood is that thin and you're physically inebriated with school about to start next week in many parts of the u.s the dire warnings uh sounded about an unexpected uh, or no i'm sorry an expected rapid speed of h1n1 virus public health uh, officials appear to be struggling to put into place an effective plan to inoculate the nearly 159 million americans at the greatest risk so they're telling you right right now that over half of americans are at a great risk for this H1N1 virus. And again, it's not H1N1. It's a lie every time they say that. The CDC has been working with HHS, Human Health and Services, and the states to develop plans for distributing the vaccine. But what works best for a large state like New York may not work best for a small state like Wyoming. We're going to get into this, and we're going to take calls about the 30 after break on the swine flu. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmis, prisonplanet.tv, infowars.com, and truthnews.us. Let me tell you a little bit about one of our great sponsors, HomeGain.com. This is the place to get you started buying or selling a home, finding a realtor, and getting any real estate questions answered. Go to HomeGain.com and see what I'm talking about. All you need to do is type in your home address, and you will get an instant free estimate of your home's value online. This is a great way to be able to monitor the value of your home. 
And again, it's absolutely free. There are tons of tools to help you. For instance, if you want to remodel your home, go to HomeGain.com. Use their Home Sale Maximizer to help you determine which home improvements can most increase your home's value before you put it on the market. For 10 years, these folks have been helping home sellers and buyers. Visit their link at InfoWars.com. Look for Max, the orange home gain gorilla, to help you with any real estate needs you might have. You'll love this site. It's HomeGain.com. H-O-M-E-G-A-I-N.com. Check them out today. Uncle Sam needs your help again. Got himself in a terrible jam. Way down yonder in Vietnam. All right, folks, we are back. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmis. Let's cut the audio on this track. Uh, actually, YouTube censored one of my uh, my videos because we ran that for a whole 30 seconds. That's right. A DMCA complaint for Country Joe McDonald and a song that's over 40 years old. Hey, if I play it on my show and I only play like one third of it, not even one third of it, I'm helping you sell MP3s and records, baby. I mean, come on. I, I, I can't imagine that's like flying off the shelves. It, it's unbelievable to me. Oh, but YouTube and the Nazis have to come get us. By the way, Facebook changed their user license agreement. I don't know much about it. I just know that the the agreement has been changed. I really have to look into it. Those social networking sites are such traps, man. Everybody puts up every single bit of information about themselves on these things. And yes, just like anything, it is a dual-edged sword. It can use to it can be used to empower or enslave. And we enslave ourselves every day by going on this, typing on our moods, showing pictures of every event we've ever been to, putting up our top friends, who's the most important to us. You know, and that's why I try to stick to sending out bulletins, um, answering it as though it's an email service. And I don't post a lot of pictures unless it's a profile pic. I don't, you know, go to events, take a bunch of pictures with people or take a bunch of pictures of me and my family and then post them up there because you're just giving them an even greater ability to track, trace, and database everything about yourself. You're being profiled. That's what that's what MySpace is. That's what Facebook is. It's a profiling website. That's why it's called MySpace Profile. And let's not forget News Corp came in, bought that up. It's a Rupert Murdoch vehicle at this point. All right, let's get back to where you will get your H1N1 vaccine. Now, again, in this, they're saying, well, major cities are going to be a lot different than rural areas. But we played you the clip last week, and we may bring it up again, of the drills they were running in, in uh, Paris, Maine, where the National Guard comes in in full riot gear. They don't even look like the National Guard because they're going to have to be in riot gear, not because people are going to revolt and not want to take the swine flu. See, they spin it, or the swine flu vaccine, they spin it and say people are going to be tearing down the walls to get the swine flu vaccination. Yeah, right. But when they say 159 million Americans are at great risk, and I've seen similar numbers, that's how many vaccines are being shipped out here. Folks, that's over 50% of the population. And they're putting out false polls saying two-thirds of the population is clamoring for this stuff. Let's see what we got here. Distributing the H1N1 vaccine, and that is a lie in itself. It is not H1N1, okay? It's not. It's three types. Although public health officials initially talked of setting up public vaccination stations in communities throughout the U.S., uh, Quimby said whether or not this happens will be decided by the states themselves. Good. Step up, governors. Step up, congressmen. Step up, senators, state senators, and say no. City council members out there. Go to your local communities. Just like I said on Friday, if you are a member of the PTA, you should be banging down teachers' doors saying, look, my kid's not taking this shot. I am not even comfortable with this school becoming a mass vaccination center. That's the bottom line. Uh, setting up vaccination stations at public schools is another option, but again, will be left up for states and local communities to decide. Uh, there are very much a range of possibilities and range of distribution methods which will be by city and state, he added. The first doses, because, again, they want you to take three shots. It's not just one shot. They're saying 45 million doses in the very beginning. Okay, the first batch of H1N1 vaccine, expected to be about 45 million doses, is slated to arrive mid-October and will be set aside for five target groups. Let's go over these target groups, because they are the last people that should be taking this shot. Pregnant women. Yeah, let's give pregnant women a shot full of squalene and mercury. And remember, we, we did do the report last week 
that they are going to make some of these mercury free, they say, for pregnant women and children. Yeah, they'll make about, you know, 1% of these things mercury free. But they're not going to advertise they're out there. They're not going to advertise the fact that if you are a pregnant woman and you are taking uh, this vaccination, you have a chance of giving your kid autism. They're not going to say that. They're only making that for the people that are going to throw a hissy fit, that aren't enough in the know not to take the shot altogether. Pregnant women who are considered four times more likely than the general population to experience complications from the N1H1 flu. So pregnant women are four times as likely to have problems with this? Wait a minute. I didn't see all these stories when they were hyping up the uh, swine flu hoax of pregnant women being the major target. One pregnant woman dies who has all these other health complications, and she may or may not have swine flu. 